Hey YouTube, I'm back at it again with another book review. And this book review is on the book Torn by Keisha Everett. And I would give this four out of five stars. And the first thing I'm going to say was, you know how sometimes when you read a book, more than one book by the same author in one book, what they do is they take a character from that book and write a story about them. This is basically what she did with this book. If you read um, Nina's Joint, then Nina's best friend was named Mo, and she had, like, little solos in there, like, you know, she had, you just tell that she had drama with her boyfriend in that book, but of course it wasn't about her, so they didn't say too much. But, and this book is, like I said, it's about her. And it basically started when she was real young, like 15, she met this guy named Q. And the book is called Torn because she was with him for nine years, so about around 26, where most of the book took place. And, you know, he just treated her bad, always cheated on her, lied to her, never was home, and stuff like that. And a lot of people would say that she was dumb because she dealt with all his BS. But at the same time, if you're really in love, sometimes it's hard to let go so easily. So you could see that she really did struggle with it. It was really hard for her, but if he was in a relationship for nine months, I mean, excuse me, not nine months, nine years, you would be upset and very distraught and struggling to leave the relationship. Then while she was dating Quan, she met this guy named Boss. They really clicked. She liked him. He liked her. But she kept it in the friend zone because she just didn't want to do grimy stuff. So they they just talked as friends for a little bit. But after a while, she stopped talking to him because she was trying to work things out with Quan. And then you just keep seeing drama of him, you know, treating her bad, all these other males. And also you find out that Mo had three miscarriages in nine years, so she has to deal with the tragedy and depression and, you know, stuff like that. And she just doesn't understand why she can't have babies, but you, you, you find out a lot of surprising stuff. I really think it's a good book, especially for girls who have been in love before, been treated wrong. Like, it's definitely good. Keisha is a very good author. And I definitely think you can read this. If um, you didn't like her other books, maybe give this one a try. If you did like her other books, you may like this one too. So definitely check it out.